we've got to the required performance out of our brakes and uh, also been able to spend uh, very little money on it. For the powertrain, we're using a mechatronic uh, 3 kilowatt brushless DC motor. Uh, in the initial ideation phase of our design, uh, we were aiming on a we were aiming to buy a motor that was uh, larger than 4 kilowatt. Uh, however, we we came to reality with the cost that would uh, be required for that and its surrounding system. And we uh, came to the compromise of 3 kilowatt motor, which does propel us to the required speed, uh, obviously at a cost, but it does. And we've made it work with the entire design. Again, uh, like I mentioned with the brakes, uh, all of the components designed around it were designed using manufacturing processes in mind to streamline the cost, and the, the production time, and all of that surrounding it. It's, it's a very simplistic design that we use, and this has really helped us uh, you know, meet the targets that we've set for it. On to cool down for the electric. Good morning, judges. The high voltage section in the go kart is one of the major costs that we have come across, which is the powerhouse of the go kart or the accumulator. It is a it is a 48 volt 60 amp 60 amp power battery from Nitronics with a chemistry of lithium ferrophosphate. It has costed us around uh, 47,200. So, uh, in order uh, to and the contactors that we're using is a Dongia high voltage conductors which is rated for 100 amps and it has costed us for 4000 for two of them and uh, then we are using uh, the connectors that we are using are uh, Anderson SB120 for the high voltage connectors the, which is costed around 550 the HVD or the TSB that, the TSB that we are using is from Dico Electronics it is completely sponsored from them it, uh, it has costed us around 23,000. Then, then comes the it's high voltage wiring or the complete high voltage uh, current path which goes through is a polycap 69 square wire uh, which has costed us around 650 uh, rupees which is around 3 and 3, 3 and a half meters. And also we are using a fuse from uh, the brand called Eton. Eton uh, 100 LED is the fuse that we are using. It has costed us around it, uh, 1800. The accelerated pedal is from the is uh, an OEM part of the motor controller, which is uh, a cost of 1370. And uh, I'll hand it over to Arya for the lower basis. Morning, everyone. Uh, I am presenting the low voltage of our GoPro system. The main cost of our low voltage system was our battery pack, the low voltage battery, which costs us around 2100. It is a 12.8 volt battery, lithium ferrophosphate battery. The other major cost was the master switch, LV master switch uh, by Ono Minda. It was around 300. The uh, uh, kill switches, we bought three of them, it was for 360 rupees. The other cost was Ono Minda brake over travel switch, which is presented there. The brake lights, the limit switch, and the toggle switch. Uh, the total circuits, the components, uh, elements, the wiring, and all. It costs us around 3,000 rupees in our total. Thank you. So, last but not least, our miscellaneous costs, uh, which are not exactly on the local firewall and fastener car, but the other two ones. But they're very integral to the working and uh, everyday use of the go kart. So, our car scan costs us 3,000 rupees, uh, while our push car which is also made of mild steel, uh, cost us 200. Uh, those are our major costs in terms of the mis miscellaneous costs. Uh, these have mostly been sponsored and uh, we've used like, a lot of OEM components here. Our firewall, uh, which is 4500 rupees, uh, are slightly more than what we wanted to spend. But considering safety in mind, we have used uh, a composite style uh, firewall where we have a layer of 1 mm aluminium, uh, 1 mm thickness FR4 uh, which is fire retardant board uh, and, and then another, another layer of uh, aluminium 1 mm thickness. So that's uh, how we've been 
increase the cost, but you also increase the safety quite a lot. Uh, thank you. We don't buy in bulk. We buy small amounts and make the prototype. So uh, we already have a few contacts, and those kind of contacts will keep going, and we can buy a larger amount of material for a lower cost. And right now, uh, the part is basically hand built. It's not uh, done by any kind of cheap material. We could set up another assembly line that would make it uh, significantly cheaper and avoid mis uh, like mistakes. Like we have made a lot of mistakes on the go kart and. Uh, to be honest, that has uh, resulted in a lot of expenditure from our side. But uh, if we do the assembly line setup and we have a specialized person for each and every uh, thing, that will reduce our uh, cost in terms of mistakes. Even if it increases our setup cost initially, it will help us hugely in the long run. Do you also 
also be for uh, have you reconsidered talking about the first time only? Have you reconsidered any major assemblies where uh, initially the cost of the design to be manufactured was going very high? Then you redesigned it as you were talking that you have been bothering about it. So then coming back to this, like you have redesigned and brought down the cost of the And if that is the case, how much will it cost you? So, uh, so I think the thing we are most proud of over here is our wheel hub uh, in terms of our cost saving. Right now, uh, totally for two wheel hubs, it's 2600, so it's 1300 each. Uh, before, we had we had a different design and we got multiple quotes from uh, multiple people. Is it quickly? Okay, wheel hub has been Yeah, yeah, on the wheel hub. So, uh, initially we had got multiple uh, quotes from multiple people and our first design, uh, which was after a lot of simulation, our first properly finalized design would, would have costed us uh, 7200 per food. Uh, so from there we brought it down to 2600 because initially uh, there was a slit in the VHA and th that would have helped us secure it into the clients on the axis. And we have changed that into a total uh, that will help us secure the VHA onto the axis. So that has reduced our cost by roughly 2, 2k. And in man hours. Uh, so designing we have uh, they're not sure of the exact man hours, but yeah. Did it reduce or did it increase? It's reduced. Reduce. Exactly, but that would be your uh, estimate. If we want to calculate the accurate cost, will it increase or decrease? 
this is all increase. So, so uh, here the part that we have uh, it will increase is our body of maybe and our uh, breaks a little bit. Uh, but overall, it it would roughly stay the same. It would probably increase by another uh, two to three thousand. Uh, this the reason it has uh, it is slightly less is because we have received a certification by the company. Uh, so a lot of these were sponsored as you know, the laser now. And whatever quotation you have received by the company is does not uh, include labor hours or anything. It's usually just material and the processing cost. So they don't include the include the labor cost. So that's roughly uh, that's why it's reduced a little bit. So uh, we couldn't acquire a, an accurate estimate. This is a what part or this is a made part? Uh, so it's a made part. Uh, actually, the thing is we have made the domain and we've uh, bought PU foam and uh, taken it to their factory to make the mold. So and the yeah, uh, the molds and all were made by us, uh, only the like, laying up was done by the professionals of the factory. I just wanted to switch to this high voltage part. Yeah, so you have the battery container, right? Yes, sir. So what is the costing for that? So the costing actually isn't, the only the major cost so is mentioned in the presentation. They have mentioned the uh, costing of the container in the Excel, which is uh, the costing of the whole container, the whole assembly, the, uh, from the top is around roughly uh, around uh, 3000, which includes material and uh, the labor cost. So material uh, roughly uh, came up to uh, 2700. What's the material? Uh, that is uh, uh, the bottom part that you can see with the lid is 200 mm, and uh, the top part is uh, 1.5 mm. Insulation material inside we have used the one MFR port. One MFR port. MFR port. In all the containers inside. Have you mentioned the cost? So what's the, uh, as you're telling the container cost is 3000, right? Yes, sir. And the FR4 also might cost some amount. Yes, sir. What's the amount for that? Sir, so FR4 we had bought uh, completely for the firewall and this one. So that, that one we had bought around uh, a piece of 1 meter by 1 meter. So in but that. So uh, based on the uh, required area that is yes. used. Yes, sir. You can calculate this on the whole amount that you have purchased. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is roughly around, I think. So that is roughly around 400 yes, income, as, as, per, as per the high voltage and as your uh, peak as you go, yes, you have to break and the So the total, all the cost for the firewall and all are mentioned in the total cost. I mean, the total cost is all included, sir. So then separately, we haven't mentioned it. Like, you know, uh, separate, separate. Yes. So, uh, just, just to clarify, we've only included the major cost in the presentation, uh, but we have made all the considerations in the cost of the And this is made by the cost you have made. So the container? Yeah. The, the battery is bought from the company called Micronics. The container was designed by me, and then it was uh, laser cut by our uh, sponsor, and then it was uh, welded and done. Welded by your company? Well, no, uh, welded, uh, welded was by another uh, company. Uh, yes, sir, by another company. Welding, welding, will it come under process code or So the welding, uh, welding will come under process code. Welding rods become the tool Anything else that is accounting to your tooling uh, in welding? Uh, like in welding, we have used uh, arc welding in most places, uh, but we have used make in some places. So even the uh, cost of the uh, copper wire and the uh, cost of the uh, gas that, that is being used will also come out. Uh, so, uh, we, we haven't used specific different We have used a plotter to lay our uh, chassis on and take out a Yes, sir.
Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so, as mentioned, we were supposed to go with the pre access CNC, and our initial first design, uh, which was not very manufacturing friendly, was uh, 7200 rupees. Uh, we have, uh, there was a slit in the VHUB that will help us secure it and tighten it to the, uh, the thing that, to the axle by bolting it. And that slit was removed and we used the screw drill. And um, initially, we were also supposed to, uh, like, Use this spline, uh, like use this, use either spline grinding or uh, a multi-axis CNC for the splines, and that also had, was a pretty large cost, and that that we eliminated by using uh, wire medium to cut the splines out, uh, which is extremely accurate. Uh, it's on par with laser cutting, in fact. So that also has reduced our cost. In fact, along with cost, we have actually gained some performance. Uh, since initially we were thinking of this uh, slip, because it would be easier uh, for us to uh, like fasten and like loosen the wheel hub. But once we got rid of it, our uh, the stresses induced by the wheel hub on the same roads actually uh, reduced by a factor of two, uh, like by almost half it has reduced. So we were able to reduce the overall diameter and we were able to reduce the overall length of our wheel hub too. Uh, so I think it together it costs 600 uh, grams, both wheel hubs together. Uh, so we, we could optimize it further, but uh, since we don't want to risk it too much, since it's a uh, crucial part, uh, we didn't go to optimize it too much. So that, that's, that's how we got it down from 7200 to 2200. Yes, sir. Is that final weight or how much Yes, sir. 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 Together is fine as well. Together is fine as well. So, what is the weight of the assembly? Weight of the assembly? Uh, roughly 20 kg. Yeah. Uh, roughly 30 kg. There wasn't much assembly in that uh, it was place of bearing and like the So the cost was uh, three eighty in total. And specification Six zero six. Six double zero three bearing.
size of the parts is like great to be very much variable from the vehicle like the parts are too much uh, changing in size from the vehicle. Yeah, there's a little bit of change, but uh, everything that we have manufactured either has the M4, M6 or M8 uh, fasteners. Uh, the change comes from the OEM components, like the uh, UCP 204 bearings, they need an M13, uh, they need M13 fasteners and our uh, motor with these M10s. Uh, so that's where our, uh, the variation in the fasteners comes in. We're talking about the rate of the fasteners. Now, usually we see that while directing the fasteners, we don't bother about uh, the, the length of the fasteners. Sir, can we start? Ready? Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. So, we are from Team Super Ignite from Gurnamak Institution of Technology, Hyderabad, Telangana. And today we are here to present our CRB presentation of our EU vehicle. Thank you. Thank you. 
Let's come to the wheel assembly. Uh, so on the wheel assembly, we have uh, wheel side stubs, uh, wheel hubs, uh, and rods. So here, um, the welding is done uh, in the stubs here. So the total weld length is seven inches. So cost is sixteen rupees per inch as usual. So the total cost is one hundred rupees, including the filler. Next, uh, lathe machine. So lathe machine, uh, we are planning for a wheel hub. So the time length is around one and a half. Um, so the total cost is fifteen rupees, fifteen hundred rupees. Next, uh, coming to drills. Uh, number of drill, uh, total number of drills are eighteen. Time took uh, the, the, the time taken is around uh, twenty minutes. So total cost is around three hundred uh, rupees. When we are coming to the breaking system, uh, we have used several processes like laser cu laser cutting, welding, and lathe machine. When we are coming to the laser cutting, the time taken for the laser cutting is 11 minutes, and the process cost is, is around 225 rupees, and the labor cost is 550 rupees. The overall cost comes to the 275 rupees. When we are coming to the welding, uh, the total cost is 35 rupees. It includes the total weld length, the, the cost of weld and cost of filler. The weld lengths are 2 inches. And when we are coming to the lathe machining, uh, the uh, break disc, uh, break disc, uh, the time taken for the is uh, 23 minutes. The process cost is around 575 rupees and the labor cost is 138 rupees. The total cost comes to the 713 and when we are coming to the uh, power train and electrical, the electricals are majorly part of the part, but we have manufactured some parts like the Senga and uh, PSL, tractor system, active light, uh, these are manufactured in Hosley and the uh, light which I have shown you is the part of the part and the welding in power train and electrical, the total weld length is 6 inches and the cost of weld is 16 rupees per inch and the cost of filler rod is 6 rupees. The total cost comes to the 105 rupees. And when we are coming to the lathe machining, the process time is 4 minutes and the process cost is 100 rupees. The labor cost is 25, 24 rupees. The total cost comes to the 124 rupees. And when we are coming to the cutting and drilling uh, in process of machining, uh, in process of manufacturing the same car, uh, the process time, uh, process time is 6 minutes and the operation and labor cost is 41 rupees. And furthermore, my friend Raymond will take this one. Now, my coming back, uh, coming to the body works. Uh, body works, we have made it in house uh, using the uh, fiberglass material. It's a WRTEC 600 GSM uh, uh, fiberglass mat. And uh, uh, the material uh, costed us around 5,500 rupees. And the operating, operation cost is around uh, 375 rupees. Uh, which also involves a small molding and laying of and drying of the resin. And the cost of the labor is 1300 rupees. Uh, this uh, uh, 1300 is rupees. 1300 rupees is uh, uh, segregated into all uh, the laying up and uh, ground up like uh, making the molds. And the cost of the fasteners is around 112 rupees. Now coming to the uh, list of the purchase parts, uh, there were uh, many uh, parts uh, purchased uh, coming to the electric vehicle. Since uh, 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 it's an electric vehicle, we need to purchase uh, 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 electric motor and uh, battery, uh, battery tank, which is our accumulator. And uh, uh, other things like uh, OEM manufacturers like brake fluids uh, and uh, another uh, components like uh, MCBs and this. Thank you, thank you. Okay, what do you make and why decisions? What basis of work do you decide to make things and why them as well? Sir, when coming to our decisions uh, like uh, efficiency, uh, accuracy and uh, life, lifetime, lifespan of the component that we choose these and also the costing the factors. Coming to the accumulator battery pack, uh, as per our requirements, they have charged and coated uh, more. 
but after the design requirements of a vehicle and that has a slider down and the charges oh, were reduced this, through that we have reduced the cost and when we are coming to the steering wheel also we have used it but that that would be negotiated you would have negotiated like uh, see they have uh, point my, my question is like you balance between cost performance accuracy accuracy and the reliability and yet you select the right way Yes, sir. The tractor system actually works. Like TSA. We have man uh, manufacturer involved, yes, sir. We have bought up the lights and uh, the control switch, so that we have uh, bought up the ni uh, nylon blocks and uh, we have manufactured the TSA tractor system actually works in house. Yes, 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 sir. Uh, the figure is shown in the way, but. It is very good. So we have covered the outer surface uh, and uh, uh, here using the uh, uh, PVC tubes and also uh, silicon gas technique to make it uh, uh, waterproof up to some extent. Two lakh forty-three thousand, sir. Between 
So uh, like uh, for steering wheel, we have used the uh, impact manufacturing method. We use the excess uh, material. What's the material cost? What's the material cost for your sale? You have mentioned about all your processing side, laser cutting, lathe machining, drilling, welding, right? What is the material cost that you have used here? You might have done this process on a particular material, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That also might have incurred a particular value. Yes, sir. What's uh, since uh, we have used uh, we use the material, we have uh, put a value on the That's only steering wheel. Yes. Now for the column? Uh, for the column also, we have reused the material. Okay, if we are looking for costing for the overall figure, right? Yes, yes sir. Do you have to calculate something on the other Yes, sir. That means this will also add up to the entire value for the carton. So, like 40 meters. Yes, sir. That actually doesn't include anything of this. No, but you're talking about it. So, like, uh, it would be covered in the whole uh, material cost of the floor sheet and the uh, chassis material which we use for the steering column as well. So, In the first slide, we have mentioned the
person who just made randomly, then you won't get that particular accuracy here. Yes. What was the cost you incurred for your chicken officials? The material cost, ruling cost, overall chicken picture process. It's actually calculated, sir, but the slide is missing in this particular Actually, we have added in miscellaneous slides, sir, but that slide is missing right now. Are there raw materials? Yes, sir. So you, uh, you want us to make a uh, an assumption of the cost? Uh, no, we don't want to do We want the cost of this. Yeah. As a customer today, if I'm going to a shop, yes. I want to know the steering, entire steering assembly is costed. When we go to a manufacturer, right? If you go to Maruti or any OEM, when you ask for a particular part, that includes everything and they arrive to an MRP. Yes, so what's the MRP of your steering system? Material is a nice case. It is two lakhs forty three thousand. Yes, 
Bearing that we have used of 40 rupees. Yes, sir. What bearing have you used? Thank you, sir.